In this AutoCAD tutorial, I would like to cover how you use the revolve command. Uh, so what I'm going to do is start perhaps in the top view. Um, and the, the real important thing here with revolve, and that's this tool right here, is that we're going to be either making a solid or a surface um, that wraps around, revolves around, a central axis line and that's really the important thing here with revolve okay so what I'm gonna do is start in the top view and use my line command and I'm just gonna draw that axis line you actually don't have to draw it physically but I think it's really helpful especially when you're first starting using the tool so I'm just gonna click and make a straight vertical line on my top view that's maybe 36 inches long Okay, so just have a 36 inch long line and right now it's laying you know flat on the ground if you will I could be drawing this in a different orientation if I wanted standing up or something but for right now that'll do so that's going to be my axis line that I, I revolve around now I could draw you know basically any any shape that I was interested in here so I'm just gonna pan over a little bit and if I just grab line you know I could use object snaps to snap to that although it does not have to be connected to that line but I could come out and just start drawing some sort of profile so I might come out six inches uh, down six uh, maybe I'll go back out 12 um, down six in three you know and you can just make whatever type of shape you want I'll come uh, down 12 in six down six back in towards that axis three so I'm kind of just stair-stepping my way down and then I'll come down maybe four and I could even let this come to a point Okay, so I'm just starting you know, to draw some basic lines in there. Now these don't have to be straight. You know, I could of course come in either with, you know, a spline or a circle and start adding some curves. You know, I could do maybe, you know, a circle here, for example, and then trim that out. I mean, you have all of these, you know, creative options, uh, you know, available to you, of course. Uh, but once you get something that you're kind of interested in, you should be good. Now what I'm actually going to do is just make a copy of this. And this is just to illustrate a difference. You don't actually have to copy this for any reason. So I'm just going to put one over here. Uh, because what we have over here on the left now is something that's created with many individual lines. If I wanted this to be a surface, that would be great but when I revolve this if I actually want this to be a solid object I need to join that together oh, I'm just gonna lost everything there for a second so I just did a zoom all okay so to join this all together I can select all of this line work except the axis line I don't need that to be part of it and then I can just do a J for join or go to modify and find join and now this should all be connected together into a continuous polyline to make a solid. So I'm just going to come over to my isometric view so we can see this a little better. And let's do a revolve. So I'm going to grab the revolve command. I'm going to first select the individual lines. So you notice you also have to get in here and select them all fairly carefully. So that's what I want to revolve. Then you hit enter. And now we need to define the axis. So that's why it's handy to have this drawn. But the axis wouldn't have to be attached to the profile, and it doesn't have to be straight. But that's an easy way to start. So let's you know, click end to end. And you'll see that it's starting to revolve my shape. Now what I need to do is just say the angle. So if I say 360, it's going to revolve all the way around. That's the default. So I'll hit enter. And here we have the shape, and this is made up of surfaces. Okay, if I do the same process, revolve, select that profile, hit enter, and pick the axis on the second one, and let it be 360, that is going to be a solid. Okay, and you can see that in the top view as well. So the surfaces are going to be divided up into this kind of a mesh.
and the solid will be much smoother in appearance in wireframe. Um, if we look at that in conceptual, for example, you know, really they're going to look about the same when you would put materials and render and that type of thing, uh, but it depends what you're wanting to do with it. Um, if we're go going to want to do any, um, you know, boolean operations to this or anything like that. Um, but at this point, we've created some nice revolved objects that are symmetrical around that center axis line.